Alright boys, so I started college like a week ago, so what's better than a story time to fit the special occasion? So our story takes place about two years ago when I decided to be an epic memer and buy a fidget spinner to take to school. Ironically, of course. So the first lesson of the day was geography, and I decided to whip it out in class and give it a spin, as an epic meme for my friends. The teacher saw and told me to hand it over to her. We'll call her Miss Johnson. I asked Miss Johnson why, and she said that it is dangerous. So of course I asked her, how the heck is a fidget spinner dangerous? And she didn't really give me an answer, so and just like tiptoed around the question, telling me that people have been hurt by them before. I don't know if she's on something or what, but I'm pretty sure fidget spinners are less dangerous than a pebble. I guess the most damage you could do with a fidget spinner is by throwing it at someone's head or some dumb shit, but like, you can do the same shit with a calculator. I mean, pens are legit more dangerous than a fucking fidget spinner. So anyway, I gave it to her and asked when I can get it back. And she told me that it isn't her decision and that she's gonna give it to my principal. Like, what the fuck, lol? Okay, so I went to my principal after school and asked him if I can get it back. He told me my parents had to come in and get it. Okay. So fidget spinners are apparently so dangerous that I can't even take it home and that my parents have to come in and collect it. What the actual fuck? Is everyone on drugs or some shit? Okay, so I go home and tell my mom they yeeted my fidget spinner and that she has to go in and collect it or I'm not getting it back. I didn't really care that much and my mom didn't want to go in to collect it, so we just didn't. Two weeks or so passes and I ask my principal again if I can get it back and he tells me, yeah, he will get it for me and then it was just kind of forgot about. Both him and myself forgot about the fidget spinner. I mean, I didn't really care that much anyway, so that's where our story ends. I never got my fidget spinner back, and every single day I cry myself to sleep over it.